Anyone who's been a Dragon Ball Z fan knows what it's like to get excited over certain moments. The battles, the transformations, the energy clashes, they're all important parts of what make the series exciting and unique. Those are the moments that you'd imitate as a kid, pretending that you're shooting a Kamehameha from your hands or trying as hard as you could in the mirror to become a Super Saiyan. Yet there are so many moments that generate that level of hype in the series that it's sometimes difficult to decide. There's so many great battles, so many intense scenes, that narrowing it down can be a real challenge. However, some moments have that special spark that help them stand out over the others, and those compile our list today. I'm Eric with Team Badman, and we're looking at the five hypest moments in the Dragon Ball Z anime. Now there are a couple of caveats on this list to avoid redundancy, which I'll go over before we start. One, each moment is unique unto itself. This was done to ensure that the list isn't just the moments when a new Super Saiyan level is achieved or every big energy clash in the series. One and done for each moment. Number two, one moment per saga. While the list could be overloaded with Cell Saga moments every which way, that doesn't really encapsulate the diversity of the series and how many intense moments there have been across all 291 episodes. Hitting only one point in a saga leaves room for as much variety as possible. Three, the movies and television specials have been left out on purpose. This list is isolated solely to the anime, meaning Legendary Super Saiyan, Bardock standing up to Frieza, and the Gogeta fusion are all off limits. Sorry fans of the movies, maybe next time. And number four, no Team Four Star. Cause this entire list would just be Ghost Nappa and Vegeta's moustache if that was the case. Number five, The Incredible Fighting Candy. The Boo Saga gets some flack for being a little too goofy for its own good sometimes. The fusion dance looks really hokey, Goku's absence to the other world is glaring in how the story carries on, and the saga's main villain is essentially a seven-year-old combined with a giant wad of chewing gum. However, it does have some redeeming moments, Majin Buu completely obliterating the entire population of Earth and Gohan's mystic transformation definitely stand out, but nothing in the saga is as entertaining as the fighting piece of candy. In order to combat a Gohan-absorbed Majin Buu, Goku and Vegeta agree to fuse with the Patara earrings into Vegito, arguably the single most powerful character in the series. In his expected fashion, Vegito just toys with Buu, turning the entire fight into a game. Eventually fed up, Majin Buu uses his strange head tentacle thing to turn Vegito into, you guessed it, a piece of candy. With almost any other character, this would be it. Majin Buu would eat them, feel moderately satisfied, and the whole world is screwed. But this is Vegito, so of course it's not going to be that easy. Instead of just sitting around like a chocolate-covered dope, Vegito proceeds to physically abuse Majin Buu like it's his job, proving no less a threat to the pink villain than when he was in his normal form. Every attempt for Buu to stop him is all the more difficult given that Vegito is now the size of a jawbreaker. In fact, no, he's not even the size of a jawbreaker. He's literally a jawbreaker beating him around the stomach, upside his head, and even punching a hole directly through the back of Boo's throat, Vegito turns a comedic moment into an unexpectedly epic one, showing the incredible power of the universe's two most powerful Saiyans combined into one. Number 4, The Young Super Saiyan After the end of the Namek Saga, the landscape of Dragon Ball Z had changed in a way unparalleled throughout the rest of the series. Earth's hero, who had just ascended to become a Super Saiyan, was nowhere to be found even a year after defeating Frieza on Namek, and there was no one else on Earth even close to that level of power. This was made even more obvious when Frieza returned, apparently having survived Namek's explosion and rebuilt as a half-cyborg being with even more power than before, and just as much propensity to nuke planets as he did to get the blue screen of death. Just when all hope seemed lost, a strange time machine appeared out of nowhere, and out comes a never-before-seen boy with purple hair and a longsword, the first sword seen since Gohan. Seeing this newcomer stand up to Frieza, the galaxy's most dangerous villain, is one thing. Seeing his hair turn golden and his eyes green is an entirely different one. Just who is this young boy? The arrival of Trunks was a pivotal moment for the direction of the series at that point, introducing the idea that there truly are more Super Saiyans in the universe than just Goku. The ease with which he dispatches not only Frieza, but his entire army and his father, King Cold, shows the incredible power that the Super Saiyan transformation harbors. Even more than this, it sets the direction for the next arc, with Trunks revealing he's from the dystopian future where Goku died and none of the Z-Warriors are left remaining. While this did create that whole alternate timeline thing that should have been reserved for the Zelda universe only, 
Finding another Super Saiyan this soon after Goku achieved the transformation was not only shocking, but a nice twist. The natural expectation at that point was that Vegeta would be the next to become a Super Saiyan, so seeing that usurp not only provides a nice swerve to the series, but it gives Vegeta an existential motivation to finally transform, which carries throughout the arrival of the androids and onward into the future. Plus, admit it, trunk slicing Frieza into bite-sized pieces looked amazing. Number 3. Vegeta's Sacrifice up until the World Tournament, Vegeta always felt deliberately cast as the second best character, always trying to achieve what Goku does but either doing so after the fact, or never quite meeting up to the mark. His character had also become somewhat diluted in its viciousness over time, especially since the Namek Saga, becoming more of the anti-hero character instead of the vicious warrior. Once his transformation to Majin Vegeta was complete though, Vegeta found all of the aggressive vicious character that he once had in the Saiyan and Namek sagas, showing his ruthless nature by slaughtering innocent bystanders with the Big Bang attack and removing any obstacle that stood between him and his ultimate goal, defeating Goku. While it was a temporary heel turn for one of the series' most beloved characters, it all culminated in one of his most character-defining moments. Realizing that sacrificing his mind to Bobbity was a mistake, as well as his past transgressions such as Cell absorbing Android 18, Vegeta flies off to battle against a newly resurrected Majin Buu on his own after knocking out Goku and taking his last Senzu Bean. After discovering that his attacks have little effect on the new villain, Vegeta makes the decision to ultimately sacrifice himself in order to defeat the new threat once and for all. Hugging his son close and telling him how proud he is of him, he knocks Trunks and Goten out, entrusts him to Piccolo, and releases all of his power in a massive energy explosion that ultimately kills him. This moment is arguably Vegeta's most character-defining moment, showing that although life on Earth has changed him, he has also truly found something worth fighting for. As he calls out to Trunks, Bulma, and even Goku, it's a moment that outlines that even Vegeta's pride cannot get in the way of trying to protect the ones that he loves. While the blast may not have defeated Majin Buu and led to vital components such as the Super Saiyan 3 transformation and the genocide of Earth, it became an extremely endearing moment for the Prince of Saiyans and one of the single most memorable moments in the entire saga. Number 2. Kamehameha vs. Gallic Gun Energy clashes are an expectation in the series, given that almost anyone with fingers can fire them off in one way or another. While the majority of fighting is done with super speed and fists of steel, energy clashes are the bigger and more memorable moments in Dragon Ball Z. Goku's super spirit bomb against Majin Buu is a powerful moment in the series, and even more so than that was the epic clash between Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Super Perfect Cell to end the Cell games. But without a doubt, the original, and still the most hype, is the original Vegeta vs Goku clash in the Saiyan Saga. Met almost equally in power, and with no other choice, Vegeta decides that if he's going to defeat Goku, he's going to take the entire Earth with him. Flying into the air and charging a devastating Gallic Gun, it's apparent that Vegeta is getting every bit that he's got. Goku, realizing what's about to happen, charges up a Kaioken-fueled Kamehameha, and the two blasts clash in a massive struggle that shakes the very foundation of the Earth beneath him. Realizing that he doesn't have enough power, Goku cranks up his power level to the max, going Kaioken times 4 and sending Vegeta blasting into the atmosphere. If any one moment defined Goku's early power after his training with King Kai, it's this single moment. The intensity that the animation adds to this moment is nothing short of astounding, and highlights essential traits of both characters. Vegeta displays his willingness to do whatever it takes in order to defeat his opponents, and Goku shows that he will stretch to the very limits of his power to prevent any of that from happening. It pushes Goku to a brand new level, which is what a lot of the series is about when it comes to him, and it's one of the first real whoa moments in the series. It kind of set the standard for all other energy clashes throughout the series, and while there have been bigger and better ones, this is still the classic. Number 1. I am Goku, and I am a Super Saiyan. From the beginning of the series, the intro to Dragon Ball Z was capped off by a Dragon Ball flying into the logo and Goku changing from black-haired warrior to having gold hair, green eyes, and a glowing aura surrounding him. While it's not discussed for a long time, it was always a curious point for the series. Why is his hair golden? What does it mean? When is that going to happen? As the series went on, the characters discussed the legend of a Super Saiyan, who appeared only once every thousand years, whose power was unparalleled and feared by many. 
Even Frieza, responsible for the entire genocide of almost every Saiyan in the universe, was afraid of the power that the Super Saiyan supposedly held. Upon arriving on Namek, Goku's power was great, allowing him to defeat much of the Ginyu Force without any real challenge. After facing Frieza, however, it becomes apparent that his power isn't enough, to the point where even a massive spirit bomb could not defeat him. Infuriate after being hit by the spirit bomb, Frieza then proceeds to kill Piccolo and Krillin before Goku's very eyes. Enraged by Frieza's action, Goku reaches deep into his own mind and taps into power never seen before, turning his hair golden, his eyes green, and his power greater than anything seen before. Goku's transformation into a Super Saiyan is, without a doubt, the seminal moment in the Dragon Ball Z franchise, producing a component of the entire series that became a staple. Every at least partially blooded Saiyan after Goku was able to achieve the transformation, and its power became the absolute baseline for any battle afterwards with a powerful opponent. While Vegeta later dismisses the transformation's power as child's play, achieving the transformation in the first place is no mean feat, with Goku showing that it takes true inherent rage to unlock its power. Taking the death of his oldest and dearest friend and turning into something so powerful, spoken only of in legend, puts Goku head and shoulders over everyone else in the franchise at that point, and the entire planet knows it. The waves crash, lightning flashes across the sky, and the very ground beneath trembles unlike anything ever seen before. From legend to life, Goku's Super Saiyan transformation is huge for the series, and arguably the hypest moment in the entirety of Dragon Ball Z. And that's our list. Do you guys like it? If you did, click the like button down below. If not, click the dislike button down below and let us know what you guys didn't like. We're always looking to improve this for future lists and videos, so if you've got any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments section below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button down below, as well as check out all of our social media links down in the description. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, so be sure to come say hey to us over there and like, comment, and subscribe. We would love to interact with you guys. So that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Eric with Team Badman signing out, and like always, guys, stay bad. Thanks for watching.